Hello, this is Steve Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. In our last class, we talked about the two tools you normally use when you want to do massing. We talked about the extrusion and we talked about the sweep. But unfortunately, we are able to use only one form, which is called the sweep method. We haven't used the extrude method. And like I told you, the occasion or the circumstances warrants which one to use. There are some circumstances you are or you won't be able to use the other. The situation we warrant which one is more suitable. So now I want us to look at how to use the extrusion since we were not able to use it in our last class. For example, when you want to create a pillar or pillar bees, the extrusion is more appropriate and easier to use than the sweep. You normally use the sweep when you want to design some complex shapes. But extrusion does not give you that liberty to play with shapes. It is restricted. So, how do we use the extrusion? I will be applying it in creating the pillars for this building. The front pillars, as you can see, we don't have front pillars in this building yet. It doesn't mean we cannot leave it like this. I myself, I'm even loving it the way it is looking now. But for the sake of this lesson, for us to know how to use the extrusion to extrude, just like the name applies, to extrude something upwards or downwards or sideways. How do we create a pillar from this? So you go to natural ground level, natural ground level. Then this is our natural ground level. We want to create a pillar now. So I go to architecture. I click on this component arrow. I click on this model in place. Then this dialog box will come out. I click on OK. Another dialog will come out. I click on OK. Then, instead of going to sweep, this time around, I will move to extrusion. Then, my cursor is going to shape, change to cross, meaning I can now sketch. I first and foremost sketch a square, because if it is a square, you can still use extrusion to extrude something that is circular in shape, any shape at all. But I want to create a square um extrusion here so when i'm done with this i press escape but this pillar is too small it is too tiny i love thick thick pillars or columns in my buildings so if you want to ex uh, um, make this thicker or bigger what do you do you have to use offset to expand the pillar so i go to offset I can now type maybe 50 and begin to offset them. It's going to make this pillar to be very thick. When I have offset it, I have to delete the inner ones because you cannot have double line when you are doing extrusion. It must be one. So I delete the inner one. After deleting the inner one, I've gotten the, the plan, the plan of my pillar. But I now have to give it height. Where is this going to stop? I want this my pillar to stop at the beam level, that is under the beam. And the height of the beam level, starting from natural ground level, is 3000. But if you are starting from the DPC, it is 2400. But take note that we started this thing from natural ground level. We are currently on natural ground level, which means we are going to add the 600 of the DPC to the 2400. To the uh, which goes to the beam that makes it 3000. So I come here under properties, go to extrusion end. This extrusion end, in other way, means the height of your extrusion. Where is the pillar going to stop? So I click inside here and type 3000. After typing 3000, the next thing I have to take care of is the material with which I'm going to build this my pillar. What material is it, is it going to be? I love white pillars a lot. Some people may use crack ties on it. So 
the choice is yours but for this class i want to use white pillar why am i using white pillar because my pillar base is going to be in crack tiles i want to use variety so i click on by category i click on the ellipses here then i go to gypsum wall board my white material i click on it i click on ok then i go to finish edit mode and click after doing that i come to finish model and click that means everything is set i want to see my pillar how it, look, it looks like i have to go to default 3d view i click here this is the pillar i've created it started from the natural ground level all the way to the beam level if i rotate this building from here you will see it better this is where everything starts and terminates here this is what i've just done but i have to add base pillar base to this how do i add pillar base to it i still go to natural ground level when i go to natural ground level i go to architecture i go to components i select model in place i click ok here i click ok here again then i go to extrusion again click on extrusion i go to line click line because i want my pillar base to be bigger than my pillar width or by 75 millimeters so i have to go to offset here and type 75 what that means is that i am offsetting 75 from the pillar so that the base will be thicker than the pillar itself so this is what i have now now i have done this i have to also give height to my pillar base what is the height of my pillar base definitely it cannot be the same thing as my pillar if not recover it so i have to make this one shorter so i have to make it 75 750 millimeters so that it will be a little bit above my dpc but now the material is not going to be gypsum wallboard. I click on this gypsum wallboard. I click on the ellipses. Now, I'm, I, like I said, I'm going to use crack tiles on this. But on this place, you cannot find crack tiles. So I have to create a new material and I have to call it crack tiles. So I come to this ball again, click on this ball, click on create new material, then come here and rename it and call it zero two i'm putting zero two so that it you go up up so zero two i call it crack tile crack tile when i call it crack tile i go to appearance again click on appearance i come to this replace assets click on it i come to appearance again double click on appearance then i go to stone the material I'm looking for is under stone. I click on stone. Then I select here. It, the material is here, so I have to select it from here. So I've seen what I'm looking for. This particular crack tile is popular in Nigeria. So that's why I want to use it. Mind you, do not click on the letters. Click on these two arrows here to select. So it will preview it here. It is previewing it here, showing me that this is how this crack tile is going to look like on my building so i click ok i click ok again and i click finish oh my god so let, let's go to the 3d default 3d view to see okay to see how this looks like this is what i've just done you can see the material i use for my pillar base is different from the one i use for my pillar itself so that's how to create pillar and pillar base now if you observe Many pillars used to have capital, capital that goes around it. To design the capital, it is difficult for you to use extrusion to design it. Like I told you earlier, you use the sweep where you want to create complex shapes. So I want to use the sweep to create the pillar um, capital here. I'll create for the base and I'll create for the top. So how do I do that? I'm going to go to ground floor this time around not natural ground level i have to go to ground floor level double click on it it 
to bring me here. When he brings me here, I go to architecture, I go to this arrow under components, I click on model in place, I click on OK, I click on OK, I go to sweep, I go to sketch parts. When I go to sketch parts, I want to go around my pillar itself, not the base. This is the base, this is the pillar base, and this is the pillar. I want to go around the pillar, so I click here and go like this, go like this, go like this, and go around. When I'm done with this, I click on finish edit mode. Click on it. I click on edit profile. Then it's going to bring north and south for me. If I select north, I'm going to be obstructed from seeing this thing because the back will block me. But if I select south, which is the front, I won't be obstructed. So now take note. This is one of the things you consider when you are selecting the view to edit your massing from. Select the view where you are not obstructed by anything. If I select north, I'm going to be obstructed by the back of this building. But if I select south, like I said earlier, nothing is obstructing me. So it applies for any massing uh, editing you are doing. So the next thing I have to do is click open view. You can see it. I am seeing it directly. It is facing me. But if I have selected not, the back of this building will have prevented me from seeing it. But this one is facing me directly. Now, this is where my red button is. I'm supposed to start from here. But because I want the capital to be on top of the on top of the pillar base, I'm not going to start from here. But it's still going to allow me because if I draw along this dotted line, it will still obey. It will still answer. So I'm going to trace this dotted line and move up and click here. Then I go up. I type, what am I going to type now? I type um, 100. And I go like this. I type 50. And I come down. I type 50 again. I press enter. I go like this. I type 50. I press enter. I come like this. Always press enter. If not, you will, become, you will make mistakes or you will not answer. I type under 50 and press enter. And go like this and terminate it here. Now, take note. It is not a must that your shape must be this my shape. Your own can be curved. It can be slanted. It depends. Any shape you want is what you are going to give it. For the sake of this class, I want it to be as simple as possible. At your own time and your own convenience, you can explore. You can try your hands on different kind of shapes. But make sure that it is enclosed. That this thing goes round and close. If not, it will not answer. When I've done this, I click on finish edit mode. I click on finish edit mode again. It is bearing another material I don't like. I come to material and click on step ties. I click on this ellipsis and I come and select gypsum wallboard. I want it to be white. I click on it. I click OK. Then I come to finish model and finish work. So this is the capital I've done. Now there's another thing I have to do. Instead of me to start creating another capital for this, I can mirror this and move it over here. So to mirror it, I just click on this and go to mirror. This is mirror here. Click on this mirror. I can come closer to it. Don't go too far so that when it happens, you can use move to move it up. Don't go too far. Just bring it close. Click here and go like this. Understand what I did? I click on the left-hand side and move to the right-hand side and click. It produces the mirror immediately, the mirror view. So what do, I, what do I need to do now? I go to move, click on move. I select a tip here, where I'm going to carry it from. Carry it from here and move up and place it here. Automatically, my two capitals are set. Then I click outside. This is my pillar. I've done my pillar manually. So if you look at it from the 3D view, this is what we're having. But then, 
we are having only one pillar. What happens to this other pillar? I was busy trying to conclude this one so that I don't create double work for myself. When I'm done creating this one, all I need to do is to copy all of them at once and place here. Instead of creating it one after the other, I will copy this one and move it to here. So what do I do? I go to the front elevation. Double click on south. Now what do I need to do? I hold on my keyboard, I hold the control key, the control button. I click on the capital, I click on the pillar, I click on the bottom capital, I click on the base. Then I release my hand from the control. Then I look at the most appropriate place that I can use so that when I click it here, when I move it here, I will not have any problems. What do I do now? How do I do that? I must find a way to do that. I must find a way to do that. I must find a way to do that. Okay, this is getting serious now. This is getting serious now. It cannot work. Okay, what I'm going to do is this. I, I wanted to use move before, but I'm not going to use move. Let me use mirror to mirror it. So to use mirror, I go to mirror again. I use this very mirror. There are two types of mirror. We have this one and we have this. So I use draw as this. Click on this one. And I will now try to locate the middle of this my this my what is it called again? This my POP. I look for the middle. This is getting this is giving me problem again. I look for the middle. I don't know if this is the middle. I'm seeing so many midpoints here. I'm seeing so many midpoints. Okay, I think this is the right one. Okay, that is the right one. So this is the midpoint. I click on it. Then I move my cursor down. Straight. Do not shake your hand. Move it down. Vertically. Then click. It will appear there. Then click outside. Okay. The pillar is there already. So you create one first and copy. Or mirror. Or move. Based on the one that is more convenient. So this is the pillars we have created now. So let's look at it from our 3D view. So this is the building. It is taking shape. So this is how to use your extrusion when you are working. Thank you. See you in the next class.